If you are watching this, I did something that I've never done in a video before and I weighed myself on camera and definitely in the range of the highest weights I've been. Definitely back at the weight that I started the year in. Um, and I know I just got back from vacation, so obviously I gained weight, but my focus has always been like to not binge and to eat, eat better but I, I think my mind is not in that place anymore. Now my mind is in a place of I want to lose weight and I'm hoping I won't go to the extremes like in the past. I'm hoping what I'm gonna do this week is not go to extreme. I have a wedding in a month that I really wanna lose weight for and I have a cruise in a couple more months that I really wanna lose weight for and I'm going to Japan and Korea a couple months after that and Japan and Korea everyone's small and I don't want to be fat and that's just that and it's ironic because I just watched the Barbie movie which is about loving yourself but I definitely don't so let's spend this week trying to lose weight it's it's so weird usually it's let's spend this week this week trying to eat better let's spend this week trying to not binge but no I'm going to dedicate this week to trying to lose weight and a lot of weeks after that so let's go I was gonna start running, but not only is it pouring outside, last night I scraped my knee. I don't know if you can tell. It's like all scraped up, um, and it kind of hurts to bend. So, what a wonderful start to this weight loss journey. Here we go. All right, my goal is to eat less and to keep myself busy so I don't snack. I had a liquid IV to start the morning because I need staying hydrated is good. It is 11 a.m. and I'm gonna make breakfast. For breakfast, I'm gonna have two eggs with mixed veggies, some soy chorizo from Trader Joe's, and some fruit. I feel like that's a good meal. Oh, how many calories is that? If each egg's like 100 calories, that's 200. How much is in the soy chorizo? 130 for two ounces. I think I'm gonna try to make this 400 calorie meal. But I don't, I don't move a lot, especially when it's raining. Do I even burn 1,600 calories? Maybe one egg. I think I'm gonna have one egg. And I'll put veggies in there. Let's make my one egg. This is the soy chorizo I got from Trader Joe's. 130 calories for 56 grams. Let's see what that looks like. I thought it was gonna be a sausage, but once you open the casing, because it says remove casing, it's just like ground beef, so I'm gonna weigh it. Yeah. It breaks into ground beef. So I'm gonna weigh it. Sorry if this is gross to you. That's 25 grams, which is half a serving, because the serving's about 56. Half of 130 is 70, so this is like 60 calories. Hmm. I already have pre-chopped red onions, so I'm gonna chop a green bell pepper to mix into my eggs as well for added veggies. Here is my bell pepper. I'm gonna go wash it and then chop it. <laughs> All right, I am going to put some olive oil spray in this pan, roast the veggies first, put the chorizo, and then an egg. And we're dropping the veggies first, a handful of red onions. So I did the math, if I have what did I say? 60 calories of chorizo. An egg is about 80 calories. That's 160 plus the 60 is 220. I can afford two eggs because I cut down on the chorizo. So we're doing two eggs. I'm adding some nutritional yeast to the eggs um, because online they said it's a good way to add protein and to add a cheesy flavor. I can't tell if that's a lot. Put a little more. This is 30 calories for two tablespoons. Um, yeah, just letting you know. Here we go. It's not a lot. Here's my finished breakfast. We've got two eggs, some bell pepper, some red onion, and some soy chorizo, and then a bowl of watermelon and grapes. Yeah. <laughs> It is three o'clock. Did I eat at 11 or did I eat at one? If I eat at one, it's only been two hours. Anyway, it doesn't matter. My tummy made a sound, so I'm gonna make myself lunch. I have frozen chicken tenders 
So I think I'm gonna make myself a chicken tender salad. Yum. Also, it's I have a lot of veggies that are probably gonna go bad soon, so I have to cook them now. These are the chicken strips that I plan on using. Three ounces of 150 calories. Let's see how much three ounces is. All right, got one. Oh, it's uh, 70 grams. Do I have a small enough piece? Nope, that's over 150 calories. That is 100 grams. You know what, 200 calories. 200 calories of meat isn't bad. While that is cooking, let's make the salad. Greens. Some freshly washed baby tomatoes. Edamame. Wait. Cucumbers. Oh. And red onions. And a balsamic glaze while we wait for the chicken. I'm also gonna put a little bit of avocado because I have it. I have the avocado and thinking about this now. I don't think this is gonna fill me. I think I'm gonna be very unsatisfied with just this amount of food. So, there you go. Now I'm gonna take the chicken strips and I'm gonna cut them into slices or cubes or whatever to put in my salad. Oh, there we go. Here is my salad, complete. It looks good, but it doesn't look filling. But it's fine, it just has to take us through dinner. <laughs> Couldn't tell you the calories on it. All right, we went to Barnes and Noble, I have a small strawberry icy refresher, no lemonade, and I'm going to make soba noodles with a pre-made peanut sauce that I have from Target, and edamame and shrimp and cucumber. Yeah. This is the sauce, and we are defrosting some shrimp. All right, these are my noodles. They are soba. I did two servings, where each serving is 335, but I'm splitting it with my boyfriend, so 335 calories at each two servings in here. Now I'm gonna pan fry my shrimp while the noodles are boiling. Here is the complete meal with the peanut sauce, some shrimp, cucumbers, and edamame. That's my boyfriend's portion. Happy Tuesday morning. I have a dentist appointment in an hour. So for breakfast, I'm just gonna eat a thing of yogurt so that my belly doesn't like rumble during the appointment and because I don't want my breath to smell. So nothing savory. So I will be having this yogurt. 140 calories. And I think I'm gonna have a banana. They're a little brown. All right, I'm back from the dentist. My teeth look no different, even though they were supposed to be clean. And I have to do some work, but I'm going to get myself a liquid IV in the cute little water bottle I bought. Oh, so cute. And after I do some work, I'm gonna make myself lunch. All right, what's on these wraps? We have Trader Joe's barbecue sauce, Lettuce, red onions, pickles, cucumber on whole grain. This one is mine. I did not weigh the chicken tenders. Um, I kind of guesstimated based on the weight that I saw yesterday. So that's what we're doing. I personally would feel comfortable if it was around three, three to 400 calories worth of chicken. Um, I'll do the calorie math when I go upstairs for my meeting. All right, I'm in a meeting, but this is a meeting where I don't talk, I just listen. So, I'm ready to describe my food, wait. Ugh. So, for lunch, I have these whole wheat tortillas from Trader Joe's. I think they're 45 calories each, so I have 90 calories in tortillas compared to what you saw yesterday, so I wanna say it's 250. So that gets me to 350, 350. I'm just, rough, I'm roughly going to 350. A lot of veggies here, did not count them I'm gonna say like an extra 50 there, so 400. And then I have barbecue sauce, which is gonna be another, I'm gonna say it's two tablespoons at 
40 calories. I wanna say, <gasps> I wanna say I have a pretty decent amount. So I'm gonna round up to 80. I already lost count, oh my God. Tortillas are 90. Chicken is 250, 350. Veggies get me to four. Sauce gets me to five. I wanna say it's like a 500 calorie meal. The veggies I have here is mixed greens, pickles, green onions, and cucumber. So let's eat. Oh my God, that was very difficult to explain. Oh, and it has the laughing cow cheese. I only used one wedge. I forgot how many calories that is. 45? 90? It's good though. And it's satisfying. Sitting this spot. It is 7.30 p.m. on a Monday, Tuesday. 7.30 p.m. on a Tuesday. I've got another round of Starbucks and I have meetings until 9. 7.30 or 9, so let's do this. For dinner, some teriyaki chicken and some Japanese fried rice and veggies and I might put some broccoli in here for added veggie. This is the veggies I've decided to add. Yeah. Wednesday morning I just washed my face it's like 7 30 in the morning and I'm gonna get ready for work I'm going to the office today and I will do my best to eat healthy it's a little hard because during lunch I like to go with my co-worker to get lunch and uh, I don't want to show I'm on a diet to her why is this shameful maybe it's because she's really thin <laughs> anyway let's go to the office Yesterday went a little bit wrong, um, not wrong, but wrong. Uh, yesterday I had free bagels in the office, so for breakfast I had free bagels. And then for lunch I went out with my coworkers and lunch was around noon. And then I had like two rice balls and a daifuku around six, which is when I got out of work. <sighs> and then by the end of the night, which was like midnight, I was getting snacky or I was getting hungry so I just raided my fridge and ate a bunch of leftovers and I recorded some I also didn't record I had a jerky stick and I had like some Filipino candies which I forgot to record it was just not good yesterday so hopefully we can fix that today it is 11 20 almost 11 30 and I'm gonna make myself breakfast which is gonna be eggs with chorizo soy the breakfast you saw on Monday. Actually, I think I'm gonna make it a breakfast burrito. So I have in my pan, tomatoes, bell peppers, and onions. I'm going to put two eggs and my chorizo. My finished breakfast tacos. It's got some mixed greens, some salsa, two eggs, two tortillas, and green onion, and green onions. Green bell peppers and red onions and a little bit of nutritional yeast. I'm pretty happy. The whole thing is about 400 calories, so I'm going to a meeting, let's eat it upstairs. Oh, my room's a mess. We have the tacos. I'm gonna eat the one that looks fuller, because it seems like, ah, it might be messier. Hmm, it's good. A documentary just dropped on Netflix about uh, how your food may be dirty, specifically lettuce, and uh, yeah, I'm eating lettuce. <laughs> It is three o'clock and I'm getting a little snacky. So I have a handful of pan fried shrimp, some edamame and some cucumbers. And I put a little of that peanut sauce that I had for dinner the other day. And this is my makeshift like snack bowl. Yeah. It 
it's five o'clock. It's five o'clock and I'm ready for a real meal. So I'm going to take some low cal toast and I'm going to put it in this veggie lentil soup. The soup is 270 calories and the bread I think is like 45 calories a slice. Let me check. 45 a slice. So let's go make that. That bread feels like a scam because they say it's 45 calories a slice and it's light, but it's also the thinnest bread I've ever seen. Like it's half the thickness of a normal slice of bread, which is 90 calories. So like, I think it's just the same bread, just sliced thinner. It is dark because it is raining. I've got my lentil soup. Oh, you can't see. <laughs> I've got my lentil soup. I've got two pieces of toast and one low cow, laughing cow. So I'm gonna put this on the toast and eat it with a lentil soup. This is about 400 calories. So this is 270 plus 25, rounds up to 300 and then 90 each. I have not been eating as well as I'd like to admit, but no buts, I don't have an excuse for it. For dinner, I am making mac and cheese as well as a honey barbecue chicken breast. It's one singular chicken breast, chopped up. I'm cooking it now, and then I'm gonna put honey barbecue, and then, yeah, I'm gonna make this. And that's dinner. The complete final meal, chicken breast and mac and cheese. Chickpea mac and cheese. It is the last day of the work week. Friday and for breakfast, I'm gonna make myself oatmeal. I will be making myself a savory oatmeal, but I will be using half a cup of oats. How do I make it savory? I cook it in chicken broth and I add a little soy sauce and oyster sauce. Yum. I'm gonna go for 10 grams of protein, which is probably gonna be half the calories of this, so an extra 50 calories. I'm gonna mix in the rest of my edamame and put some green onions for veggies and some red onions as well to add crunch. All right, breakfast is done being cooked. So for breakfast, I have this very brown banana. It feels very soft from here down. So like two thirds of a banana. This is my oatmeal. I have 190 calories of oats. Then I've got edamame, red onions, and 50 calories of protein powder, some soy sauce, some oyster sauce. Uh, I have no idea how much it is in total, but usually I put an egg on top, and I'm replacing the calorie of the eggs with this banana. Ironically, I'm always pushing for savory food. By the end of the oatmeal, I think I wanted something sweet. This drink is from yesterday. I didn't finish it, I drank about half, and then I put it in the fridge. So I refilled it with some ice and I'm gonna keep drinking it while I work today. I'm getting hungry. So let's make myself a tuna wrap. I have tuna from Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna put some Japanese mayo. I'll put tuna, mayo, cucumbers, pickles, maybe green peppers, and I'll wrap it up. All right, we have one bowl, one can of tuna. We have one tablespoon of Greek yogurt, one tablespoon of Japanese mayo, one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And someone online said to add cottage cheese to make it creamy. So I'm gonna add some of my cottage cheese. Um, and then I'm gonna make it a wrap. So this is my wrap and it's full and I still have extra tuna. So I'm going to put it in this, fold it in half and make it like a one more sandwich. It is 8.15. We went to Starbucks and I got this grande iced mocha with almond milk, decaf, one pump of espresso, three pumps of mocha, no whipped cream. I don't know how much I'm gonna drink. And then I have this hopia, which I brought back from the Philippines. It is 150 calories for one piece and I have two in here. Yeah. 